pond, guys. Yeah, he's uh, really inventive. That looks really cool and a lot of fun, and you come up with great ideas when you're forced to shelter in place. Scott Reese, thank you so much. Next, at 11. I would say, without question, it's the biggest decision I've ever had to make. President Trump looks to reopen the country as two Bay Area tech titans team up to track people infected with coronavirus using smartphones. The 11 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2 starts now. An old school public health technique brought into the modern era by Apple and Google. Hello again, I'm Christina Rendon. I'm Audrey Sr. The joint effort to track down who is sick or sick people, who sick people come in contact with using an app comes as health officials warn the virus has not yet reached its peak in the U.S. Now today, the worldwide death toll climbed to above 100,000 and cases here in the U.S. reached more than half a million. More than 2,000 people have died today in the U.S., a grim new record pushing the total deaths above 18,000. Looking to stop that number from growing, tech companies think they can help with contact tracing. And KTV's Jenna Katsuyama is live with how that would work. Jenna. Andre, public health officials say that contact tracing is essential to try and contain coronavirus outbreaks. Basically, officials go out and they trace down everybody who's had a contact with a COVID-19 positive patient. Well, now Apple and Google say that they're looking at smartphone apps that could help as a tool. On Friday,